Hey, it's been a while. Good to talk to you folks again. A friend wrote, I'm trying to get a better understanding of what's going on and why concerning Israel and Gaza. I don't have a magic ball, but I'm going to address everybody here that I've be become friends with and established a rapport with through the only thing that has made sense to me for some time. And that thing is a focus on our American situation. I firmly believe that all of the hype in the news and on YouTube right now by both patriots and system-oriented types alike, that it is a distraction from what we have been doing for the last two years here on YouTube. And why is it a distraction? Because our problems at home are largely due to the fact that our government has imposed foreign policy and foreign entitlement programs which are completely outside the Constitution. This attention and these resources have horribly drained the American people. It has denied us, it has cheated us, and now it is doing what it's always done, which is to distract us. It's one thing to have an opinion about what a foreign country is doing in their politics. But unless you know their constitution, and unless you know their internal uh, mechanisms, I largely think that you have absolutely no fundamental basis on which to form an opinion. There are barely enough people in this country who are well versed enough in our own constitution to take a position on that of a foreign country. I don't mean to support suffering or domination or slavery of any kind anywhere. However, the thing that has brought us together is the only thing I can think of to address the immediate situation with regard to this question posed to me. There is no way to understand what is happening in Israel, in Gaza, in, in, with Hamas, and with all of these factions. We barely have a grasp of what the hell is happening in our own country. You can get information on it, yes, and I completely applaud anybody taking an interest in that. But for the most part, the yammering going on about Gaza and Israel, I'm sorry. I love a lot of you folks, truly, and respect you, or have respected your fervor and your determination to solve our domestic problems. And frankly, that is where I believe that the focus should remain. If we succeed in getting our government to its limited construct, there will be no more foreign entanglements, no unfriendly entanglements, no foreign entitlements. I say keep our focus on what is going to really solve the problem overseas, and that is to solve our problem here. Dr. Paul has said it numerous times. Friendly trade, no unfriendly entangling alliances. There is no way that you and I have the wherewithal to discuss what is going on in Israel. And frankly, I don't believe a lot of the people that live in Israel will have the same, any better uh, ability to converse and articulate what's going on in their government 
any more than the majority of the American people are able to do the same about theirs. It only makes sense. The media problem in America is the same problem that exists in these other countries. There is no truth in media. Now to carry on about whether or not the Zionists are in fact a, an unspiritual sect of, of, of Jewish uh, thought and community, I, I don't even want to go there. That, not for this video. For this video, I strongly suggest that we keep our focus where it belongs. Solving our own freaking problems and not thinking like we can solve everyone else's. You know, YouTubers kvetching and pissing and moaning and battling one another about whether or not we belong here, belong there. No, we don't belong there. Our military hardly belongs anywhere that it is. It's exactly like Dr. Paul said, and there are plenty of videos out there with his uh, opinions and his platform, what he took to the presidential race for 08, what he has continuously and, and consistently brought to his congressional uh, platform and career, and that is of non Foreign in, uh, no foreign entitlements, non-entangling, unfriendly en entanglements with foreigners, friendly trade, period, that's it, end of subject. Just because I like the person in a video doesn't mean I necessarily like the content. And this video may not be very popular, but it's the way I feel and I believe in, in all of my heart and soul that it provides the best solution. Mind our own business. If you're spiritual, you'll know that God will take care of Israel in His way, in His time, not in America's way or America's time. And that's what I have to say on the subject. I invite your comments and as usual, I appreciate uh, anyone viewing. Thanks. And I hope you've had a happy new year. I look forward to uh, 09. I'll cover some of the events of what's been going on with me as, as time goes on. In the meantime, sayonara.